Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to talk about internal sorting. My name is Arvind Kumar. I am from CSC Data Science Branch. Internal sort. An internal sort is any data sorting process that takes place entirely within the main memory of the computer. This is possible whenever the data to be sorted in is small enough to be held in the main memory for sorting larger data sets. It may be necessary to hold only a chunk of data in memory at a time. Since it won't all fit, the rest of the data is normally held on some larger but store medium like a hard disk. And any reading or writing of the data to and from, from the slower media can slow the sortation process considerably. This issue has implications for different sort algorithms. Difference between internal and external sort. If the data sorting process takes place entirely within RAM, random access memory of the computer, it's called internal sorting. This is process whenever the size of the data set to be sorted is small. Whenever the size of the data set is a set to be sorted is small enough to be held in RAM. For sorting large data sets, it may be necessary to hold only a smaller chunk of data in memory at a time since it won't all fit in the RAM. The rest of the data normally held on some larger but slower medium like hard disk. The sorting of these large data sets require different sets of algorithm which are called external sorting. Internal sorting are types of sorting which is used when entire collection of data set is small enough that sorting can take place within main memory. There is no need for extra memory external memory for execution of sorting program. It is used when size of input is small. Some common internal sorting algorithms include bubble sort, insertion sort, quick sort, heap sort, radix sort, selection sort. On the other hand, some algorithms handle external sorting rather better. A merge sort breaks the data up into chunks sorts. The chunks by some other algorithm may be bubble sort or quick sort, and then recombines the chunks two by two or so. Each recombined chunk is in order. The approach minimizes the number of reads and writes of chunk data chunks from disk and is popular external sort method, a sorting in which there is no need to use another storage structure as the data is manageable enough in the RAM. Bubble sort, consider a bubble sort where adjacent records are swapping in order to get them into right order so that the records appear to bubble up and down through the data space. If it, this has to be done in chunks, then when we have sorted all the records in chunk one, we move on the chunk two. But we find that some of the records in chunk one need to be bubbled through chunk two and vice versa. There are records in chunk two that belongs in chunk one and records in chunk one that belongs in chunk two or later chunks. This will cause the chunks to be read and write back to disk many times as records cross over the boundaries between them, resulting in a considerable degradation of performance. If the data can all be held in memory as one large chunk, then this performance hits is avoided. This is the algorithm loop through the list until it is sorted. Insertion sort, the sorting algorithm, which works similarly to the way to sort playing cards. The data set is virtually split into the sorted and unsorted parts. Then the algorithm picks up the elements from the unsorted part and places them in correct position 
in the sort part as shown below. Sort, sorting algorithm picks up a pivot element and partitions the data set in two subarrays. One subarray is greater than the element and the another subarray is less than the element. Same process is repeated for subarrays till data set is sorted as shown below. Heap sort. Heap sort is a comparison based sorting technique based on binary heap data structure. It is similar to selection sort where we first find the minimum element and place the minimum element at the beginning. We repeat the same process for remaining elements. Radic sort. Lower bound. Comparison based sorting algorithm, mud sort, quick sort, deep sort, etc., is omega, om, n log n, that is, they cannot be better than n log n. Counting sort is a linear time sorting algorithm that sort in O of n plus k time when elements are in the range of from 1 to k. Selection sort. The selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element considering ascending order from unsorted part and putting it at the beginning. The algorithm maintains two subarrays in a given array. Subarray, which is already sorted remaining subarray which is unsorted in every iteration of selection sort a minimum element considering ascending order from unsorted subarray is picked and moved to the sorted subarray this is a selection array On other hand, some algorithms handle external sorting rather better. The merge sort breaks the data up into chunks, sorts the chunks by some other algorithms, maybe bubble sort or quick sort, and then recombines the chunks two by two so that the recombined chunks in, are in order. The approaches minimizes the number of are read, reads and writes of data chunks from this and is popular external sort method, sorting in which there is no need to use another storage structure. As the data is in manageable enough in RAM. Thank you.